Well, Terry Dean may not get a lot of admiration from the head coach, but there's one player that he'll always think of as a saint. You know, speaking of your former players, what about the wonderful progress of Danny Werfel? You told us all along, look out for Danny. And, of course, some of us said, well, you know, Danny really doesn't have the, the, yep. the posture and the poise of throwing the football they ought to have. And yet, you must be awfully proud of Danny Werfel and what he's done with the New Orleans Saints. Well, buddy, I, I think everybody ought to know by now that you don't uh... – you don't ever want to bet against Danny Werfel. He he finds a way to come out on top, but he's he's a winner, simple as that. But I tell you now, he's a he's up against a heck of a big challenge out there, though. And I think it'll be kind of interesting for all of us to see how Danny reacts uh, now that he's got to play quarterback for a high-strung head coach. You know, but no matter what happens, though, I expect old Danny's got a lot more important things to do, you know, with his life and toss football around. And uh, I expect he'd, he'd leave with a little pocket money because the way I got it figured out, oh, I can redale old Danny about a million dollars apiece. And, uh, you know, I ain't trying to start no trouble, no, buddy. No, I know you're not, Coach. While but... them two's got their checkbooks out, I'd like to remind them that all them pass plays didn't just magically appear in that fun and gun playbook. So you're saying they ought to write him a check, huh? Well, you know, anyway, that's all I'm going to say about okay, it, buddy. Okay, all right. I'm just a humble employee of the local college, and that's okay by me. I ain't speaking trying to start anything. Of, speaking of checkbooks, Coach, uh, yours has got to be doing pretty good these days with that new contract you got. But if you don't want to talk about that right now, it's okay. Well, buddy, you know, it's one of them things that, uh, I don't know, I guess if somebody up there feels like, uh, you know, I'm, I'm being fairly compensated, and mm-hmm. that's all, I'm just, I want to remain humble and do my job, you know, coach up the players, buddy. I don't we hardly get involved in that I other stuff. I understand, coach. I know you got things. Listen, speaking you tell of... me I got a pay raise, I'll take your word for it. <laughs> Being the experienced journalist that he is, Buddy Martin knew enough to explore the subject of money a little further. Well, look, can I just ask you a quick question about the contract? Thing? Sure. I, don't mean to, I don't mean to make any big, big out of it, but... Well, I want to say right up front, buddy, that uh, how much money a head coach makes shouldn't be the only way to judge how good he is. Golf handicap ought to count for something. And, uh, oh, yeah, you got a good one of those, too. And his ability to look good in a sweater vest. <laughs> and a visor, too. That's right. And, and, of course, on the other hand, you know, how good a coach he is is reflected by how much money he does make. And certainly everybody knows that the head ball coach uh, is uh, the third highest paid coach in the game. It's got to make the head ball coach feel particularly good uh, having this contract in the back pocket and the cash in the bank and the Swiss bank account, the couple of Porsches and what have you, which, uh, you know, I'm sure you feel real good about right now. Well, buddy, just material things. I don't put a whole lot of stock in that. Of course, them old gold-plated pings, you know, I ain't going to throw them out. Gold the way, pl- just, what, gold-plated pings? Well, I know you're going to get into that. You sounded like dang Robin Leach over there, and I'm trying to talk about a football game. 